have always been using this kind of method in most of my children's birthday parties. I just add some ornaments to my balloon decors depending on the theme. Like this one, Minecraft theme for my son. Most of the time, I don't buy balloons with helium because they cost more. We also had Shopkins for my daughter. Last year, she had a princess themed party. As you can see, we always choose to have a simple celebration at home. These balloons made it a little more special. We also had Hello Kitty and Power Rangers. And more! We need balloons, of course, any color of your choice. A balloon pump. Scissors. Fabric tape. And this is optional, a fancy ribbon. First, I want to show you that not all fabric tapes are effective. Choose a brand with a better grip. Look at the difference. See this fabric tape? I can easily pull it off. Just like that. So let's try the other one. This one has a better grip. really sticks so well. Heard that? This kind of fabric tape is the best to use. In fact, even if it really sticks well, it won't damage your paint or your walls or ceilings. Okay, so let's start. Use your palm to inflate the balloons. Then tie a knot using your fingers. You can add ribbons like what I did here. Just tie it on the lip part of your balloon. I also add some swirls on my ribbons by doing this. Look! Oops! ta -da! Well, if you don't have a balloon pump, you can do it manually, like this! But you have to have lots of air though.
then twist it and again tie a knot. After doing this to all your balloons, you can now put them all to your ceilings! Yay! Then get your best fabric tape and then cut it like um, 6 inches long. Fold it like this. Then stick it on top of your balloon. Then stick them to your ceiling. <laughs> Jana. Ayun, natapos din ako. So, tingnan natin. Even surprise your loved ones with these balloons. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe!